Oh, hello, Katie. Hello, Jen. And hello, Sarah. And hello, Muggle with a Mic listeners. It's me again, Dr. Weedy, coming to you from the Doctor's Lounge at Muggle with a Mic headquarters. For this Doctor's Lounge episode, Katie asked me to take a look at a scene from the Oscar-nominated movie, The Holdovers. In this scene, Angus Tully, played by Dominic Sessa, is being chased through a boarding school by Mr. Hunnam, a history teacher played by Paul Giamatti. Angus runs through the halls, eventually arriving at the school gymnasium. Spying a springboard and a vaulting horse, he makes an awkward jump and flip, injuring his shoulder when he lands. Mr. Hunnam takes Angus to the emergency room, where he's found to have a dislocated shoulder, which the ER staff fixes with an interesting technique involving bed sheets. I will get to how impressed I was at the accuracy of the ER scene, but first a quick review of the shoulder joint. Your shoulder is a ball and socket joint. Your upper arm bone is called the humerus and has a ball-shaped head at the shoulder. This ball fits in the socket or cup-shaped glenoid, which is actually part of your scapula. That's your shoulder blade. The ball and socket anatomy allows your shoulder to move in multiple directions and even rotate 360 degrees. There's a group of muscles that form a cuff holding the ball in the socket. While holding the joint together, this cuff of muscles still allows the shoulder to rotate. You may have heard of this group of muscles. It's called the rotator cuff. Unfortunately, with the right amount of force delivered at the right angle, the ball of the humerus can come out of the socket. This is called a dislocation. An even more unfortunate part of this injury is that the muscles of the rotator cuff act almost like a rubber band holding the joint together even when the ball is no longer in the socket. This is why it takes some pretty significant manipulation and some pretty significant force to fix or reduce the dislocation and put the ball back in the socket. Now back to the movie. I'm going to be a little picky here, but if you look very closely at the actual fall, It appears to me that Angus lands on his right shoulder. This type of force should not have caused a dislocation in his left shoulder. However, that's me being picky, and obviously the accurate portrayal of a dislocated injury was not the priority of the director, nor the point of the whole scene. I was very impressed, however, with the look of the dislocated shoulder. When Angus is sitting on the ER bed, you can see a knot sticking up on the top of his shoulder. That is the glenoid. It's the socket part of the joint that is prominent now because the ball is not in the socket. And it looks to me like there's a lump on the anterior or front part of his shoulder as well. That would be the ball of the humerus outside of the socket. That was very well done. And yes, the bed sheet technique to fix the shoulder is accurate as well. One caregiver ties the sheet around their waist and around the patient's upper body and uses their weight to gently pull the patient's torso toward them. Meanwhile, the other provider wraps a towel around their waist and the patient's forearm and uses their weight to pull the arm in the opposite direction. This stretches the rubber band rotator cuff, hopefully allowing the ball to slip back into the socket. There may have been some minor issues with the positioning of the sheet and Angus's arm angle, but it was pretty well represented. The grinding crunching sound was a bit exaggerated, but there is usually a thunk sort of feeling or sound when the ball slips back in the socket. The only other issue I noticed is that more often than not, the patient will get some sort of sedative or pain medication as the more tense the patient is, the harder it is to stretch the joint to get it to reduce. Once the joint is reduced, the patient would be carefully examined to make sure the injury did not damage the circulation or the nerves in the arm and we'll probably get an x-ray to make sure there was no broken bone along with the dislocation. Overall, I was very impressed with the portrayal of the injury and the treatment of a dislocated shoulder. Well done. Well, this is Dr. Weedy ending my shift. Remember, the opinions and contents expressed in the Muggle with the Mic Doctor's Lounge is the sole possession of Dr. Weedy do not reflect the thoughts of Katie, Jen, Sarah, or Muggle with the Mic. The contents of the Doctor's Lounge are not intended as a medical advice and should not replace an actual visit with a medical professional. Any portrayal of any person's real or living is purely coincidental. Uh, yeah, um, I want to have the uh, pulled pork shoulder with the mac and cheese, please. Mm-hmm.